And if you've ever wondered what it was like to climb the iconic 832 stair stairs at the Space Needle, you have a chance this weekend. Starting today, registration open for the annual Base to Space event benefiting cancer research. And Angelique Cockaday is live at the Space Needle in the stairwell right now, ready to tackle those 832 stairs. We hope that you'll get to the top uh, or the bottom, or however, which way you go, uh, by <laughs> in the next half hour or so, right? I mean, that's how long it usually takes. Yeah, it takes about 20 minutes, you guys. We're at the top at this point. I, I didn't climb it yet, but we're going to head back down maybe in the next hour, and then maybe I'll climb back up it. But, yeah, the, listen, the most important thing to keep in mind here is that the event is actually happening in October. Registration is now open, though, which is awesome. And to help me explain a little bit more, I'm back with Randy Cote with the Space Needle. How are you doing? Doing great. We're, you're definitely outside. We're getting some wind this morning. We are definitely. It feels like Beyonce, right? Yeah. The Beyonce <laughs> hair. There's lots of wind. We're really inside the Space Needle. How how far up are we right now? We are about, oh gosh, so the, the uh, revolving glass floor is at about 500 feet. We're probably at about 475 feet. We're almost to the top. Wow, that's really, it, it's really incredible to be inside in the stairs. Talk about this event. It's back for the first time in a couple of years. Talk about that excitement. Absolutely, so yeah, Base to Space, our charity stair climb benefiting Fred Hutch. We call it Seattle's most iconic climb. Right. Uh, it's a, a basically all day event on October 2nd. We've got families with kids as young as eight that can climb. Uh, every, you know, every everyone comes out to base to space, uh, you know, different reasons for climbing, whether to support cancer research, because it's a, an awesome challenge, an interesting fitness challenge. Sure. Um, or just a cool experience. We just saw one of the elevators pass right by <laughs> us here um, on the way up. So, yeah, it's, it's just a really fun event. Bring the community out, uh, raise money for an amazing cause at Fred Hutch. Sure. Mimi challenged me. She thinks I can do this in a half an hour. What is the average time that it takes to climb up these stairs? I'd say most people are doing it under a half hour. So okay. I think if you're in that 20 to 30 minutes, I think you're right in the middle of the bell curve, right. as it were. Right. Um, our elite climbers can climb it in under five minutes Jeez. who do climbs all over the world. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we have, you know, Different, different speeds for different folks. Sure. And then quickly talk a little bit about where this money is going to. It benefits Fred Hutch cancer, cancer Research. Talk a little bit about that. Absolutely. So Fred Hutch has been our beneficiary for Base to Space since the very beginning. This will be our sixth Base to Space climb. We've raised over $3 million wow. for cancer research at Fred Hutch. So we're excited to have an amazing partner just in the shadow of the Space Needle doing all this amazing work. And right. this is a way the community can support that work. Absolutely. So. And coming up a little bit later this uh, in the next hour on Kong at 7, we're going to actually be talking to a representative from Fred Hutch a little bit more about where the money is going to. But if you want to learn more about this event happening in October, just text the word CLIMB to 206-448-4545 and we'll get you a link. For now, reporting live here inside the stairs of the Space Needle, Angelique Cockaday, King 5 News. What's it like up there this morning? Uh, it's a little, Other little than breezy. Windy. Yeah, a little breezy there <laughs> behind you. It's, uh, it's definitely windy. It's a little colder up here. Uh, we're, we're really high, so it's, uh, but it feels good. The air feels good. It's a gorgeous day. Definitely. And, and the interesting thing about this, too, is yeah. that this is it only happens once a year that mm -hmm. it's open to the public, this base to space. So that's your one shot. you got to register today. Yeah. So I've climbed the stairs of the Columbia Tower uh, for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Foundation. And so I'm just wondering, I mean, there's, those staircases are you know, not, not terribly wide, but I'm just cramped. wondering, is it pretty narrow inside where you are? Like how many people can narrow. go I up mean, the stairs? Is it one at a time two. sort of I would single say, file? I would say, yeah. Is it, is it, do, do people climb up the stairs sort of single file or are like they kind of group together? Because you, only you and I are really fitting on in the, in the yeah, staircase have, right the, now. Yeah, in the two staircases, uh, we, sometimes if you're passing, a lot of people pass on the outside. So you, you can pass people in the staircase. On okay, the if, you're an elite, if you're an elitist, you're, you're passing somebody. <laughs> <laughs> There's some stair climbing courtesy right. rules that go into effect right. for sure. Oof, I would <laughs> not be a outside. passer. I would not be a passer. Uh, Angelique, thanks.